what up rep fam just blaze here and today we're going to be taking a look at into a air jordan one as you can maybe tell already a little bit of gloss on the box and it is going to be a pair of as you can already tell air jordan one breads Now, one of my personal favorite releases recently that they've done, um, I know there's a lot of, not a lot, but some controversy over the design of this shoe and kind of where they took it, um, but I think they executed it very well. So uh, these are from, I can't pronounce the name correctly, but I'll be putting the seller's uh, information right here. So be sure to check them out. Um, very quick, actually. I think these came in about a week. So it seems like shipping is getting a little bit better, but. Be sure to reach out to them, mention Rep Bros sent you, and uh, see if they can do something for you. But let's go ahead and get into these. The breads, as you can see, um, got a lot of things in the in the box itself, which is always nice to see. I know it's a little flashy sometimes, but I actually do like the packaging that you know some of these sellers do, and this seller did a really good job. So normal StockX stickers and tag. Get a pair of socks that go with it. StockX card, and then you actually get a little Nike back. So I'm very impressed with the packaging uh, presentation as far as how it came. Now let's get it into the shoes. And let me tell you, woo, these babies is clean. Let's just go ahead and get an overall look right here. This is actually my first pair of any patent leather shoes that I've ever owned. So I'm very excited to kind of see how these do. I know with creasing and everything like that, um, they do get a little worn out very quickly, so, but I'll just have to try them out. But you can't go wrong with the bread colorway, goat colorway, as far as Jordans go. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and look into it a little bit more. As you can see, mainly covered in patent leather in the bread layout. I'm sorry if you see some of my fingerprints on there. This is very fingerprinty, but swoosh, looking good. Got the metal hang tag that comes on that with a little chain on there. Let's go ahead and look at the Jordan symbol or logo. Looking real good on there. Actually got some nice embossing on there, so that's good. Stitching, very clean, no fraying or anything like that. Toe box, looking good on there. Let's go ahead and look at the back, see if we got some hourglass. It looks like we do have hourglass going on, which is real nice always to see. Inside, again, sorry about the fingerprints, but stitching and swoosh look good in there. Now, if you open the tongue, the other side, you get the family uh, stitching on the inside. I can't remember what the, embroidered, that's what it is. That's looking good on there. Get the shoe cover, Nike Air on the inside. Let's go ahead and look at the tongue on there. Looking good. Man, this is just a so unreal just to hold a patent leather in, in your hands. Like you honestly, to me, it feels like I can't wear these, but I'm gonna try to pull them off. Let's go ahead and look at the other shoe. Um, you do get the extra pair of red laces that come with that, so that's nice. Keep those on the side, but let's just go ahead and kind of look at the other one. Jordan symbol looking good, swoosh. I'm gonna put them by side by side for the symmetry test. The, I didn't even show the toe boxes, but looking real good on there. Overall, very good shoe. Doesn't feel flimsy, doesn't feel cheap. Actually really good. All right, let's go ahead and get a little side-by-side -side view. Let's go ahead and line those babies up. Back. Looking pretty symmetrical, can't complain there. Let's go ahead and switch them right here. Hold them. Also looking very well. Let's just put them side to side on the toe or on the heels. Still looking real good. Air Drum One Patent Breads. One that I've been after for a little bit and now finally have them. 
Uh, once again, seller information, I'm gonna go ahead and put it up there. Please be sure to mention Rep Bros. Like I said, they'll see if they can do something for you. Um, and as always, thanks for watching. I appreciate the content and support from everyone, especially my other fellow reviewers. So shout out to everyone else on there. Be sure to check all any other reviewers that are up there, you know, they're just trying to, you know, provide you some good feedback on the shoes out in the rep market right now. So be sure to also subscribe to my channels anywhere you can find them. Um, and that's going to be it for today. And as always, thanks for watching.